think you should be Hello everybody, it's Gary here and I'm back with another Paragon video. Today I'm going to go through the most overpowered abilities in Paragon at the moment. So these aren't necessarily in a sequence or in the order that I think they should be. They're just the, the top 5 best abilities in the game. Apart from maybe number 1, which a lot of people do agree is very overpowered at the moment. But we'll get into that a little bit later. So... Number 5, which isn't the worst out of the 5, I'm just giving it a number, is the Long Arm of the Law from Murdoch. So this is Murdoch's ultimate, it's global ultimate, that's probably why I've put it in there. It just does so much damage and when I play as Murdoch, it puts my kills up so much. I love this ultimate, I love Murdoch, he's probably my favourite hero. I put him down as the most overpowered hero, so I had to put one of his abilities in there, didn't I really? But I just love his ultimate. It, it can reach all over the map. Um, in the recent updates, they've put the timer down for when it fires, which makes it a lot easier to time where the enemy is running on the map and you can time it perfectly just to hit that enemy. It will do a load of damage and you'll get that kill. So that's why I've got Murdoch's Long Arm of the Law in the top five. Number four is Rampage's ultimate called Enrage, purely for the fact that it makes every other one of his abilities tenfold. Um, it makes his boulder throw instant, it makes his pounce um, enormous and the king of the jungle which is his, is his health regen that just, you all know what it does it multiplies his health becomes um, all, well back to full health basically when he, when he chooses his ult so that's why he's there um, just because it, 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 it makes all of his abilities even better so how could I not have that on there as I say, if you don't agree with any of these, then leave it in the comments. In all the other videos that I've done, top, uh, the most OP abilities, most OP heroes, I love having people go against me because it gives me an excuse to discuss it with them. So as I say, if you don't like these choices, let me know what you think are the best ones. So that's number four, Rampage's ultimate called Enrage. Number three is Decker's ultimate, Containment Fence. Purely for the fact that it it doesn't do a lot of damage, but if you can get three, four, or five enemies in that with your team surrounding them, you're gonna wipe them out. You're gonna use some other ultimates like Steel's ult. Um, you can use Howie's ult, which who obviously is the best person to use with Decker's ultimate. But yeah, it's just perfect for stopping enemies from getting away, keeping them in a little area, and going to town on them, doing a lot of damage. So that's why that's there. It's very hard to get out of as well unless you're someone like um, Serath who's, who can climb out of it or obviously Rampage who's got that jump. Most enemies can't get out, most heroes can't get out of it, sorry. So that's why I've put it there. Number two is Aurora's Hoarfrost. Now I've had a few people on my, um, I think it was the, uh, the best assassin or something like that video say that Aurora is easy to counter. Yep. Perfect. If you use that sort of tactic to counter Aurora, brilliant. I'm glad that you've told me. But this Hoarfrost is horrible. I hate coming up against it. Um, for some reason, I don't usually use enemies that can get away from it. They can jump out of it. That's why it's so annoying. It causes a root. It does a ton of damage. And while you're caught up in the Hoarfrost, she'll usually use her ultimate against you. And you're just going to die, basically, if you're caught in that. Um, really good ability. Does a lot of damage. Roots you. That's why I chose it. Perfect ability. The final ability, which I think most of you will agree with. Um, if not, then I want you to write in the comments why you don't agree with it, which one you think is better for most overpowered ability, and that is Rampage's Boulder. It's ridiculous, especially early game. You can go straight straight out of the blocks, uh, level one, choose Boulder, and you can cause some horrific damage. Uh, if you're on maybe safe lane with a, one with your carry, throw the boulder at the enemy, they're stuck there, you can go to town on them while your your carry is doing the same, it's just so dangerous. You can gank them, go around the back and as soon as you throw that boulder they're done for more or less. It's a brilliant ability, even though it can only catch one at a time, that enemy will die and if you target the enemy carry then it's perfect. If you go into a team fight after that and they haven't got their, their carry, you're golden really aren't you, you're not going to lose that team fight. 
especially with your carry being so fed that you've been able to kill uh, the enemy carry. Perfect. That's why I've put it in there. I know I had Rampage's ultimate alongside this, but because you can get that boulder at level 1, it is the most overpowered. I know you can get other other things like Aurora's Hall Frost, but I think Rampage, because you can throw it from a distance as well, and then jump in and, and do your damage, that's why I've chosen it as number one. And I said at the start of the video I wasn't going to put them in order, but that is my number one best ability at the moment. It's so overpowered, it makes the enemies stay there, does a lot of damage late game, it's perfect. So, as I said, let me know in the comments section whether you agree with these. I don't expect you all to agree, in fact I hope you don't agree. I want to discuss this with you, uh, so drop a comment. Uh, so leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, sub to the channel for more, maybe tips videos in the future, some more deck builds and maybe a few more videos on OP abilities or heroes in the future. So sub to the channel and I'll see you next time.